Hey everybody! Good afternoon! Hey everybody! Um, if you're new here, my name is Morgan Phillips. I'm an Air Force wife, mother of three, and we're about to move to San Antonio. Woo! And I also have some pretty crazy news. Are you ready? Oh yeah, look at that baby. Sexy. So if you don't know, I ended up stepping all three little toes on my right foot into a trunk at the beginning of January. And then two weeks ago, I stepped on my foot funny and it just really hurt and it wouldn't go away. I was limping like crazy. Went to Apple Care, which is not the, the phone place for iPhones. It's, it's like an urgent care. <laughs> um, went to Apple Care, got an x-ray. They didn't see anything wrong. They told me I just needed to rest and I was like, rest i'm a mother of three at home schools and we're about to move but i did my best i rested as much as possible and if anything my foot has gotten worse and i'm to the point where i can't rest anymore um where our movers are coming tomorrow to pack and then friday to take everything out of my house and then i have to clean all weekend by myself because my husband will not be here So I went to the ER last night and I was like, look, I've been resting for two weeks and no change. I can't rest anymore. My rest time is up. I need something. I need you to either tell me what's wrong or give me something. And if they wouldn't have suggested a boot, I would have been like, I need a boot. I need something. I need to be able to walk because I cannot limp and clean the house by myself this weekend. And I didn't have to ask, they right away gave me a boot and they still don't know what's wrong. They think maybe it's a hairline fracture or some ligaments, something. I need to go see a podiatrist, a foot doctor, but that's not gonna happen until we get to San Antonio. So mid-March, we will see. So this is a to be continued story. But for this vlog, I'm gonna take you through um, packing. Um, I've been showing you guys um, the guest room in my office for a few vlogs. It's a mess, it's still a mess, um, but it's an organized mess-ish. I mean, except for this area, I just, we'll get to that. This closet, this closet over here is basically empty. Um, it has some glass stuff in it, so I have these boxes that we need to go through. Um, again, in front of it so Opie doesn't get into them. And then, I have three black bins like this filled with kids clothing. I need to go through the Christmas bin. I have some bubble wrap. I'm gonna go through and bubble wrap. It needs to be bubble wrapped. This basket um, is full of clothes that we are going to be wearing throughout the week. And um, once we are ready to leave and head to my in-laws in Alabama, I will put them in my suitcase because there's plenty of room. And then right here I have Rayleigh's suitcase and then Lannon and Penelope's suitcase all packed and ready to go. And I am bringing a couple towels that, that you see here because we will be at our house in San Antonio for a few, like a week without our stuff. So I wanna be sure we have some towels. So yeah, just a lot of stuff going on. Um, I also need to get a bag full of toys, not, not full, but I need to get a bag of toys that we're gonna take so we have some toys for the kids and keep them entertained. Probably bring these puzzles that are down here under my desk, some books, just stuff to keep them active while I go through this. So yeah, um, a couple tips that I do have for you if you are gonna be moving and you're using a moving company. Um, not to be nitpicky, but let them know how you want your things to be packed. Like I learned my lesson um, when we moved from Offit to Scott to maybe remind them, and I know you're gonna sound like a Karen, but it will save your wine glasses. <laughs> we were moving from Offit to Scott and they packed my wine glasses, packed them up, they wrapped them really nicely, put them at the bottom of the box and then put my cake dishes and my glass baking ware on top of them. Only one single wine glass made it, one. So then when we moved here to here from Scott, I told the guy that and he's like, oh, well, yeah, that's just common sense. And I was like, yeah, I just, I just wanna bring it up because that's what happened when we moved here. And he's like, I understand. I will uh, be sure to put all the heavy stuff at the bottom of the box. I'm like, thank you. That's all I want is for you to take a moment and think. That sounds rude. Okay, anyways, so then when we moved here from Scott to here, Moody, 
I ended up with six boxes labeled linen closet. We had one linen closet and it was tiny. Maybe I could understand two boxes, but even that was like a stretch. So I'm like, what are in all these boxes? Most of it was like office supplies and weird stuff like that. And I'm just like, why is it labeled linen closet? So I'm going to go throughout the house and I'm going to mark each room what I want to be labeled and things what I want them to be labeled. So that way I'm not stuck with a bunch of miscellaneous boxes. That I don't know what's in it. And I think what ended up happening was the box with all the towels was marked something completely different too. I think it was just marked as a bedroom and I was just like, what? What? What's going on with that? So... Yeah, um, I'm also got a lot of laundry I'm doing. I just finished pulling this basket of towels. I have all the bedding going into the wash right now. Um, I'm gonna do Rayleigh's bedding and whatever light clothes that we have left that I haven't washed from the from yesterday. And with her stuff, and then I'm gonna wash Landon's and probably one of our comforters. And then the rest of all of the blankets and then Hopefully we'll be done tonight so that way we can unplug it, drain out all the water, and get it all dried out for the movers. So lots of stuff to do today and this week, and I'm gonna take you along with us. Yay! <laughs> Wish me luck. Update, um, we just got a call like an hour ago uh, from the moving company, and they're not gonna, they're like, yeah, we'll arrive tomorrow between 11 and 1. And I'm like, Whoa. what, I thought? I thought they'd be here earlier, but Sansa, well, they got two days to pack stuff, and I'm like, okay, I don't know, I just, I never had them come so late in the afternoon before, so, I don't know, I just thought that was a little weird, but you know, that gives us a little more time to organize things and get things the way we want to, and, it, and I guess in the morning, I will just go through and label all the rooms with paper about what I want them to label the boxes as, so. All right, so it's the next morning. Um, my husband and I just took the dryer off of our washer because they're stackables. Um, my poor husband, an amazing husband, was up until like five this morning cleaning, get everything organized. I was to the point last night of I was just like, let's just throw everything away because I don't care anymore. Like I was in pain, my foot was hurting, and I was exhausted, and I was just like, throw it all away. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I got my um, little signs made I'm gonna just go around and put them on what on the rooms label them how I want so that way the boxes are labeled how I would like them when we get to San Antonio okay the uh, movers are here our cars in our neighbor's driveway and I'm packing it up so this is the stuff we're taking I need to get all the blankets and stuff still and put it in here but it's pretty much full with everything that we're gonna be taking with us to San Antonio I will be tossing this broom after I get done cleaning, but I just need a broom to clean the house and whatever. Just just toss it, give it away after I'm done with it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna uh, finish packing up the car and then I'm gonna go pick up the kids from my friend Catherine's house, get them some lunch, and then we'll be back. I will check in with you. Oh, also, um, they actually really appreciated me labeling all the rooms with, um, how I want the boxes labeled. They were like, oh, that makes it so much easier for us. So, win. Okay, see you guys later. <sighs> I'm all sweaty from moving the stuff back and forth um, from the house to the minivan. I'm icing my foot right now and I'm posting a story to Facebook and then Instagram <laughs> about like what's going on because a lot of people don't know the situation right now. And when they saw my boot, I was texting or messaging and texting so many different friends that were like, what's going on? And then, they're like, what, what, Sam's going to Korea? Oh my gosh, oh yeah, by the way, my husband's going to Korea. <laughs> I, I haven't mentioned that because I wasn't sure or not if I could mention it or not, I can't. Sam's going to Korea, he's leaving Friday. <laughs> he would already be gone by the time you guys see this um, because I'm taking, I'm not posting a video this Thursday and then I have a video for next Thursday and this is gonna go up Thursday after that, so. <sighs> so much going on. Um, anyways, um, so I'm, I'm letting everyone know my stories and then I'm gonna also like kind of be like, if you wanna know more about a short story, like come over here to YouTube, come watch some vlogs, please. <laughs> but oh my gosh, my husband and I got in a pretty big argument about that broom. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize he was so attached to this broom. We have four brooms. 
that was just our really old one. It was kind of gross. And I was like, you know what? I will use it to do dry sweeping and then I will mop the floors and then just toss the broom. Because it's our outside broom anyways. Like I didn't I didn't think it mattered, but oh my gosh. He apparently really loves that broom. I was just like, okay, I don't like I was cursing because I was just like, oh my god, why are you yelling at me and so worked up about a broom he's like I cared about the broom you cared about other stuff in the house and I was being nice and supportive about it I was like well then just take the broom out like I was just like why is it that big a deal I was just trying to make my life easier have a broom here instead of having to borrow stuff from everybody which I'm you know I'm grateful that they let me borrow but I was like it's a broom we will have three more at the house I didn't think it was that big of a deal and there's Lynn bye Lynn <laughs> I will check in with you later. Oh, my hand's shaking from holding this camera. Oh, by the way, my hand was actually smashed um, in the doorway. It still kind of hurts. Um, we were trying to shimmy the washer out of the washer and dry room, and we shimmied my hand right into the door jam. And then I went and got Len, who you just saw. I was like, hey, I cannot take another injury. Can you come over here and help? <laughs> he was like, yeah, sure. What are neighbors for? Oh, thank God for them bless them like honestly just bless them oh guess what um we both put our nose together and our foot and guess what i put her foot and i paint ink and she paint my foot mm -hmm. is that and, apple good opie and then i um guess what i can always paint um i can always do paint brushes cool all right all right, so I just picked up the kids from Catherine's. We're gonna head and get some lunch from Chick-fil-A, and then we're gonna head back to the house. Landon, he's not happy because we're leaving a water cup behind. It's a plastic cup from the coffee shop, and I'm telling him we're just gonna get over it, right? We're gonna get over it. Yeah, right, because, um... Lots of packing going on, lots of movers here right now. What's up? Close there, Sam. Oh. Um, movers are here to get Sam's stuff that he's taking to Korea too. So lots of people here. Got two vans in the in the driveway. Yeah. Just icing my foot. The kiddos are out in the neighbor's backyard playing, running around, eating popsicles. Checking with you guys soon. Our toys! Well, yeah, Landon, I told you they're packing up all the toys. The red wagon. Yeah, the red wagon. No, leave that table there, please. <laughs> what, what was with that face? Wait. What? Where's the TV? Probably, yeah, I would assume so. It's just taking it away. <gasps> They're gonna take it to Texas. See, yeah, I got what I wanted of the rooms labeled. They really appreciated it. I was gonna take you through the house and show you what it looked like. Oh, look, the kitty finally came out. Pumpkin. Pumpkin? That was a lot of craziness. Were you hiding? Huh? Have you been hiding? <laughs> so that's all the packing that they're going to do for today. They will come back tomorrow and finish up the job. Then Friday they're going to come and put everything up into a truck. And I'll be left, I'll be left with a completely empty house. Where on earth are my children? Where could they be? Where could they be? Are they in there? I don't know if I can see it all. <laughs> what if I, what if I just, just, <gasps> there they are! <laughs> Penelope! <laughs> Good morning, it's day three, and the house is empty, and yet we have still lost toys. I had brought some Toy Story toys for the kids to play with while they were here. We were here for less than five minutes and I was like, okay guys, come here, bring your toys. So, Cause I wanted to show them that they're gonna put it on the dining room table, which is full of junk. <clears throat> Cause this is all the stuff that um, we want in the house. 
Now we're gonna take Tutila. Ah! <laughs> With us, um, yeah. So I was like, come over here, I'm gonna show you where I want you to put your toys. So I showed them the table and I was like, okay, we're gonna put your toys on the table, where are your toys? And they were like, we can't find them. And I can't help them find them. I've looked everywhere. Everything's like empty in the house, pretty much. And we still can't find them. I just, I just, I just, it's, it's remarkable. Like how, we were in the house for less than five minutes. How did you lose them? We've been looking for them for 20. I can't find them anywhere. I don't know. I'm like, did Sam, my husband Sam's like, I brought them. Oh cool, a playhouse. Really? We are not gonna use the boxes as a playhouse, okay? There's stuff in these boxes that's not gonna happen. Can you guys please be quiet just for two seconds? I don't. I don't know, you guys. They have lost them. I was like, Lana, did you eat them? Like, where, where could they have possibly gone? I'm so confused. So Rayleigh just picked up the um, TV mount for the wall, brought it into the kitchen and was like, what's this for? Do you know what this is for? Mom, I'm like, yeah, go put it back. And then she's carrying it back and she's like, well, I can't hold this thing forever. And I'm like, well, you shouldn't have picked it up in the first place. Right, miss? Did that just happen? Yep. I can't hold this thing forever. Wait, I want to tell you something. Guess what? Roll, we you got to use both hands, hold it out. It's harder than it looks, huh? Yeah, that's right. Stop saying poopy. Yeah, I know. <gasps> what are you two doing? <laughs> Y'all went? Landon. <laughs> Hey, Reed. That wasn't very nice. You trying to get your foot clean? Here, show me your dress. Come on. Your Elsa. Show me your Elsa dress. Oh, look at your beautiful Elsa dress. Turn around, show me. Show me your Elsa dress. Oh. So Penelope is wearing my, t my tank top uh, because she got a little too wet over at the neighbor's house having a good old time playing. So sometimes you just gotta improvise with what you have. You guys, who's here? Thank you. It's a nickel. I put the Before we take Sand to the airport, we asked our neighbor Lily to come over to stay the night here on base until she left. So that way we don't have to wake the kids up at 4 o'clock in the morning when I have to take Sam to the airport. <sighs> right? Sam? Yep. <laughs> You're on camera. You're on camera. I know. Oh. Ready to go. Ready to go. Sad face. Sad face. You know, like, he he hasn't even been home for a year yet, you know? Yeah. And I'm already leaving, y'all. And already leaving. I was just texting Thanks, Lily. Air Force. I was just texting Lily. And she's like, it feels like he just got back. And I'm like, I know, right? <sighs> oh, God. I look exhausted. Good morning. I wish I would have got her entrance. <laughs> Did you sleep good?
थी गुड मॉर्निंग द सन इज कमिंग अप या मामी टेक डैडी टू द एयरपोर्ट दिस मॉर्निंग यू वॉन्ट हग दिट यू जस्ट फार्ट day four of the vlog it's the day the movers come to take all of our stuff <gasps> <laughs> yay we need to get ready for our day say let's get ready let's get ready let's get ready 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 let's get ready oh my goodness so this is the commander's wife. She's amazing and awesome. <laughs> and she's gonna watch my kids while the movers are here and packing all my stuff. Yeah, we're gonna miss you guys. Yeah, I'm gonna miss you too. So it's 10 o'clock. Look, come here, here. Look, so it's 10 o'clock, see? See? 10 o'clock. Movers still aren't here. Like, what the heck? Where are you? I thought they were gonna be here like at least at 9.30. Ugh. You guys, they better be here in an hour. If they're not here in an hour, I'm gonna be so upset. So upset. Like, gosh, they didn't give me like any time frame. I was just messaging Sam, who, by the way, is just board had just boarded his plane because they couldn't take off because you remember how foggy it was? <sighs> you wouldn't know how foggy it was. I will put a clip here. No, it doesn't. You can't really tell, you guys. It's so foggy. <laughs> um, and I will have like another little, little tiny goodbye vlog um, that will be posted next week, or maybe I'll do it like as a bonus vlog this week. I don't know. I don't know how my editing is gonna go while well on this trip. Good news, the movers are here. It's been 16 minutes, so wasn't that long. I was actually going to the bathroom when the doorbell rang. It's like, oh my gosh. Oh shit! I literally. <laughs> yeah, here they go. They asked my neighbor to smooth their cars too. sure these guys are gonna be down by three. It's not even two yet. Almost. But we're getting there. It's all gone. It's not even three o'clock. The guys did good. All right, it's gonna be really echoey in here because it is all empty. Everything in my house is gone except for a few things. <sighs> like stuff that we're getting rid of anyways. Um, 
But yeah, I think this is gonna conclude this vlog. Uh, stay tuned for the cleaning of the house vlog and then moving vlog and new house vlog. <laughs> um, so much going on. Let's see how well I can manage with this with this lovely accessory of mine. I'm sure it's gonna be a real hoot doing this stuff with this. That's it for this video. My house is all empty and echoing. <laughs> if you like this vlog, please give it a like and hit subscribe so you can follow me and my family on this crazy journey we're on. All right, I'll see you all next time.